Wait till he's gone past, eh? Well, unmarked car heading into Birmingham very fast. Anyway. <laughs> It's been a while since I did a, any sort of long run. By that I mean anything over five miles. And it's been, been a while since I got close to five miles as well. So, beautiful Sunday morning. I thought, why not? Get out there and give it a plod. Not sure where I'm going yet. I don't know what route I'm gonna take. Just gonna go up to the point where I start and stop my timing from and then see where see where the day takes me really I'll uh, check back in at my turnaround point so I'll have an idea of where I am then see you then going on to Woodgate uh, not wearing my park clothes which is sort of on and off road trainers sort of a halfway house between the two I am only wearing my road shoes so stick to the path get to the far end make a decision whether I'm turning left to go back up to the uh, back up towards Quinton or right towards uh, Bartley Green see you at the bottom well considering it was absolutely pissing down earlier it's turned to a lovely day for it Woodgate this is So that's the other end of Woodgate Valley, Woodgate Valley Country Park. Uh, I think I'm going to turn right towards Barnes Hill and then run up Barnes Hill towards Wheelie Castle, straight down to Shendy Court, I think, and turn right to Bangham Pit. I might run round the Reza, or I might just cut it short and run along the front of it. I just I'm going to get there. Right, Barnes Hill. When I'm walking and running around sort of Manaway and Illy and all the rest of it, sometimes I'll talk about the, the tunnel, the canal tunnel that used to run from sort of disappear underground at Manaway and then come back out at uh, California. This is California and this is where the entrance to the Lapple Tunnel used to be. There you go, get local history, I'm with the run up the hill. 40 years and a couple of months ago, between those two areas there, and that was the entrance to my first senior school, the yeah, 52. Late 52, which is why yeah. that was the entrance to all the school. Houses are all flats, I think, behind there now. I'm that far up Hans Hill as I want to go. Uh, so it was just at my first senior school. Uh, that merged with the school I'm walking past now, Stanley Court. Uh, so I did about, I think it was three years? No, two years. Two years at Elmington. And then, uh, Finish that time off at Chandy Court. So, if I carry on, if I carry on going that way, eventually I'll come to Northfield. Nobody wants that. Just kidding, Northfield. But there you go. There's, there's the school I ended up going to. But uh, it didn't look anything like that. They demolished it completely a couple of years ago and did a. A full on rebuild. So they've got rid of the astro turf as well. So that sort of paved area that used to be an astro turf pitch. Lethal that was. Get carpet bones if you run for a slide on it. See that. Yeah, that's a better shot of it for anybody that hasn't been here for a while. 
there you go so if you've stumbled across this and you used to go to Shenley we were uh, we left 86 so 1986 if you were there around about that time hello to all the old boys and girls yeah just just uh, coming up to the four mile mark um, not headed back yet so I'm still heading out at the moment so uh, by the time I get back yeah somewhere between 8 and 10 miles which is good that's sort of what I'm aiming for catch you later next decision so I go right and there towards Bangham Pit or straight on heading out towards uh, frankly Ill Illian that sort of area and then round the reser I think we'll go around the reser Bartley reser sailing club Scotland Lane <coughs> Scotland Lane the Blue Bell Woods also commonly known as Lovers Lane looks like a very popular uh, dog walking spot on the inbound leg now King Edward's five eyes uh, not five ways is it? it is oh yeah it is nowhere near five ways though um partly green top end of so inbound leg now but it's a more direct route that I'll be taking so it's taken me just over five miles to get here about, about 53 I don't know it was under an hour let's have a look at that so the five miles is about 55 minutes which includes stopping to to Natter uh, but I think it's probably only about I don't know maybe four miles back in a straight line the, the more direct route that I'm taking running down what used past what used to be the Bale of A pub over there okay hold now down towards um part of the school Adams Hill which is uh, just at the bottom of this hill and then rather than running on the road I'm gonna join another footpath similar to the one over Woodgate and cut through uh, cut through this little bit of a uh, feels there again pretty decent path so I don't need to worry about having my road shoes on although state of them now or maybe I should have worried about it um so yeah I'm gonna run across a little bit of field onto Woodgate Valley and then uh I'll pause this for a while pop in and see my dad support Bob and all that make sure he's okay so he needs and then carry on my run from there I think so I might see you as I get by the, the uh, woods by home by my dad's home that's Edenville partly green school I didn't go there a lot of people I've gone around with went there because they're all off Woodgate Valley and Bartley Green which is sort of where we are now Well, I didn't know that. I never realised before that this is part of Go Valley Country Park. Let it alone, don't you? Mean? Bought my club gate lane now. Just going on to. Woodgate Valley. Pause my run here as far as the watch is concerned and, and whatnot. 
and then uh, restart it when I get back onto Woodgate Valley Country Park on the other side of the estate and carry on with my run. <coughs> well, all's well. This is where I came on to the country park uh, an hour or so ago, two hours ago. Uh, whew, not going back that way. Gonna follow the path to the end, and then there's a park next to uh, Ford Welling School. <laughs> it's been a bit of a tour of the schools, hasn't it? Um, so yeah, run up past Ford Wellings, and then it's a uh, a short run to my start point where I started from this morning uh, which is probably where I'll pick this up probably where I'll pick this up later this is a little park that's Ford Welling School over the back there uh, and, uh, yeah, there's no path there so I'm running on the grass Whew. So that was my start point. I've been running for an hour and a half on air 29. Obviously, I stopped um, at my dad's for half an hour or so. Um, so I'm adding me to not including that. Distance covered, pretty much bang on eight miles. So, pace is down. It's the first run of that type of distance I've done for quite a while. Certainly, where I've been trying to, you know, keep up the pace and all the rest of it, rather than going out on the on the trail runs and getting loads of video and films and whatnot. So, pace is down a little bit. I only stopped a small handful of times to take videos, like I am now. Um, and I think the longest period I stopped for was about a minute and a half. Uh, most of them were like, oh, apart from this one, obviously. Most of them were all sort of 30 seconds and less than a minute but uh, even if you take those off even if you take off the uh, it's got seven minutes the pace is still down oh well at least I've got another measure of something to, to work with thanks for coming with me